Hey everybody, it's John from Vinely here. Um, back with another What's So Great About That video. Um, those of you who uh, have followed the channel for a while know that that's one of the things we like to do is, is kind of pick an album from the Vinely collection and tell you why it's um, why we think it's so great, uh, why it might be significant, or give you a little bit of the backstory, right? Um, but I'm not going to do every album in our collection, and I wasn't going to do a video about this album either, but then um, I went online to try to find a streaming version of this, and it's nowhere to be found. Um, Tidal, Spotify, Apple Music, um, um, Amazon Music, uh, it's nowhere to be found. The studio version of this album you can't find uh, streaming. Uh, you can find some videos on YouTube, but um, you, you can't find the studio version of the debut album by this band, Zebra. This came out in 1983. And um, a little picture of the guys on the back here. And there's some really, really good tunes on this album. If you're into um, kind of early 80s uh, hard rock, heavy metal um, you'll probably be familiar with Tell Me What You Want. Um, that's the big single from this album. And actually one of their, probably their biggest song, actually. Um, one More Chance, um, Take Your Fingers From My Hair, and who, my personal favorite, Who's Behind the Door. So Zebra uh, formed as a band in the late 70s, uh, started in the New Orleans, Louisiana area, and uh, eventually began to get some traction and success in the Northeast and relocated to Long Island, New York. And they're actually in the Louisiana Hall of Music Hall of Fame and the uh, Long Island Music Hall of Fame. So that's pretty cool for these guys. Um, when asked why their debut album is not available to stream, uh, singer uh, Randy Jackson, no, the, it's the other Randy Jackson, that's Randy Jackson from American Idol. And that's Randy Johnson, baseball player. No, um, Randy Jackson, the singer Jackson. Okay, and that's Alan Jackson. Okay, um, Randy Jackson, this gentleman right here, uh, replied that there was some sort of licensing issue with Atlantic and um, it was available on streaming I guess at some point and it's since been pulled until they get the licensing issues worked out but that interview was done in 2021 and it's now 2023 so it's taken a while to get that licensing issue worked out so if you want to hear the debut album of Zebra, the studio version, you're going to have to go get yourself a physical copy. And um, I mean, that's kind of cool, right? It's kind of weird these days too, but it's also kind of cool that you have to actually get a physical copy of this. Now, of course, there's albums to be found. Um, this album is probably worth about 10 bucks, depending on uh, condition. Uh, you can also find it on cassette and CD. Out there, out there. Um, oddly enough, 1983, when this album was released, was the first year that cassettes outsold vinyl records so that was kind of the beginning of the decline i guess of vinyl um, and it stayed on a decline through the cd years and until a few years ago it started to kind of tick back up so anyway that's got nothing to do with anything this <laughs> what's so great about this um i like it i think it's a really cool album uh, and uh and you can't find it streaming so go out and get yourself a copy if you want to hear uh zebra now one thing you can do I didn't tell you this. You can hear the studio version of the uh, of Tell Me What You Want. Uh, that's on uh, like a, a heavy metal collection or whatever, a compilation. Um, you can find that. But the rest of the tracks that you'll hear uh, on the streaming services are either live or um, I think they're live. That's really all there is. So um, there you go. That's what's so great about the debut album, album from Zebra. I, uh, I 
really like who's behind the door. So, um, <coughs> <coughs> that was good. Now, zebra. Um, mm -hmm. 